right? So I finally got the, well, the customer that bought the uh, ABS block to replace the one that the valves were stuck in. So what it would do is you front brake worked, but the rear brake you go to you go to hit the rear brake and it'd go down and then lock at a certain position and the brake basically didn't work. Uh, valves in the valve body were stuck. The valve body's right here under the right side cover. Uh, <clears throat> evidently Harley in her infinite wisdom had uh, neglected to mention strongly that the brake fluid needs to be changed every two years in here which to me is kind of strange because nobody else changes their brake fluid that much in ABS unit so what it does is it basically there's four valves in here it locks those valves in place they get stuck for moisture in the brake fluid or, or whatever so uh, anyway the uh, customer bought the valve body and that replaced it. It's pretty much pull it out. Uh, you know, you've got your front front side, which is on the back here, and it's labeled. It says F and MF, master cylinder front and front brake line. And then the rear is on the right side here, and it's, it's labeled the same way, except it's rear master cylinder rear and rear brake so this side the outside here those are the ones from the masters and the back ones are the ones that actually go to the calipers uh, so you're going to pull there's three screws there's one here one here and one over on the side here at the front pull those out pull the brake lines off pull those screws out lift the disconnect the wiring harness and uh, pull the valve body out of there, and it's got four four screws holding it onto the the module, holding onto the valve body. You're just going to pull those screws off and replace the. This is all you're replacing when you get it. You're not getting both pieces. Uh, and it just it's pretty much pulled out. Take the screws out, pull the valve body off, and stick it on the new one, and that's it. And then put it back in and bleed the brakes. Uh, there is a special procedure for bleeding the brakes on these things as far as getting all the air out of the valve body. So you have to actuate the, you have to actuate the ABS valves. I got, uh, I don't have digital technician, but I got this here, uh, Daytona Twin Tech 2. ABS, which allows you to go in there and uh, basically bleed the brakes. The, all you're doing to get the air out is you're actually actuating the valves in here when you're bleeding the brakes when you get at that point. You're going to bleed the brakes normally and then uh, go through the ABS function and follow the prompts on the screen. I'll do those in a minute here. Up our uh, twin stand front here under your left side cover. Here is your uh, yeah. and it's going to start up, and that's the screen you're going to go to right there. And going to ask about the port setting that's already done so then we're going to go up here to uh, up here to uh, where it says view click on view and then you're going to go to ABS view ABS then it's going to initialize it. Yeah, turn the key on here. And then you're just going to go to bleed. We'll do rear brakes. Bleed rear brakes. And it's going to say uh, 
manually bleed the rear brake system, refer to service manual, click OK to continue. So we already bled the rear brake, we're going to hit OK. Then it's going to say apply and hold rear brake pedal. So we're going to hold the rear brake pedal. It's going to go through and push up on the brake pedal while it's actuating the valves there. And then it's going to say pump the rear brake, verify, yeah, verify, yeah, it, it did the whole thing. Hit OK. And then it's going to say continually pump, pump the rear brake. Okay. And then you're just going to let off of it and verify that the rear brake system works. Yep, got plenty of pedal there. And that's pretty much it. And then if you have to do it over again, do it over until you get all that out of the system. Uh, front brake's pretty much the same deal. You're going to hold the rear brake pedal in until it actuates the valve. And uh, it's going to run you through all the prompts. To, uh, it's going to pulse, ask if it pulsates. It's going to pulsate. Then you're just going to verify that the front brakes are good. That's pretty much it. That's a D Daytona Twin Tech 2 ABS. I had an older one, like from 20 years ago, maybe. That they probably could have updated the software in it to do ABS, but they probably could have, but. I didn't even mess with it, so I just got a new one. Bought a newer, the ABS-2 with it, the Twin Tech 2 with the ABS function. And it'll do, uh, well, I'm not going to go over that in this video. It'll go through your live, uh, all your live functions as far as, uh, AFR tables and your codes and uh, checking out doing your diagnostics on the fuel injection stuff which the, the stock readout's pretty good on this thing so as far as using it to read codes it's not really that the only reason I bought it is for the ABS function which works good does what it's supposed to do I guess if you, you'd, you'd never really need the ABS function unless you unless you took the valve body off and totally drained it. I, I know you don't you don't need the ABS function to be able to uh, suck the brake fluid out and put new brake fluid in it because you're just moving brake fluid. You're you're just using your vacuum vacuum sucker to suck brake fluid. You just keep filling it up. And uh, you just keep filling up the brake fluid so you've got clean brake fluid coming out the backside. Harley says that uh, they got a special brake fluid now. Well, you know, you've got a special brake fluid. That's okay. You've had you've had supposedly your premium brake fluid, which should have been fine. But then again, you got to realize these guys tried doing uh, ABS with dot. Dot five first, and it just didn't work with dot five in it. So that's why they switched over to dot four to make it work. And anyway, regardless, if you're putting brake fluid in these things, use a premium quality brake fluid, preferably something that's a little modern, made for uh, ABS systems. Anyway, that's it for the brakes on this thing. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. It was a uh, fairly straightforward process for somebody that hadn't dealt with ABS really too much at all on bikes anyway. Uh, I just never... I, I quit working at the dealer when uh, they had first come out with this stuff. And, you know, the first year or two never really had a problem with it, as far as I could tell.
until after about two or three years in where they started having problems with brake fluids. They did a recall on it as far as, but the recall was basically take the bike, bike in and they're going to change the brake fluid free of charge. They're not covering any parts or anything, just uh, sucking brake fluid out, put fresh brake fluid in there, brake fluid. That was That was the extent of the recall. So if you're like this guy who had this bike for, I think he bought it new, and then let it sit for the past three, four years, and went to get it out to uh, get ready to sell it because he sure as hell wasn't riding it anymore. And the rear brakes were locking up, or the pedal was locked up. You, you hit the rear brake and it just locked in place and not, it wouldn't apply the brake at all. So the, the valves were stuck in the valve body. I tried freeing them up and it just it didn't work so I ended up he ended up having to buy the buy the valve body I tried cleaning them and turning, turning them and twisting them and it just wouldn't do a damn thing anyway that's it for this video change your brake fluids about every two years and you should be good to go should be I know that valve body was 400 and something dollars or 700 or something on it. It was it was really expensive for, for, for exactly what it is So this ain't like old days, you, you know you rebuild the damn master cylinder and you're good to go um, That's it. Thanks